And now we're locked out. You did it! They're just trying to freak us out here. Oh, here comes Janae! Oh. <laughs> hey guys, I'm making progress. Nice. We are climbing. Yes, this is climbing world. Excited. And we have these gloves yep. that are supposed to help. It's us. a ropes course all through the forest here. It looks so much cooler because it's not indoors. Yeah. So what makes today more fun is that we're here with friends. They have four kids. We met them at church. They invited us over to a barbecue and now we're here today together doing the climbing world. Yeah, they've done this before so they recommended it and we're excited to try with them. So you have to squeeze this and now push this. We just went through a lot of safety and practice and I think we're figuring it out and I'm excited. They have a safety system where you can only be hooked in you are always hooked in by one. By at it least literally one. literally won't open. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're starting with the easy peasy one first, just to make sure we know what we're doing. You nervous? No, no. Yeah. I'll do a harder one. This one looks very short. We'll build up to it. Caleb has been counting down the days until we were coming here. And it's so awesome that our friends were able to join us. Yeah. Oh my Just remember, if you fall, it'll catch you. Thank you. JD, you almost did the splits. This is a blue one. This is the tallest one. Okay, it's a little uneven. It is way down there. This one has nothing to hold on to and you just walk across these steps. Good job, Janae. Yeah, good job. Doing it without holding on. No, it's so shaky. It's so high up. Oh! It's not stable. That's what's so hard about it. Oh! She's running it! She's running it! Nice! So let us know in the comments are you afraid of heights? And would you be willing to go up to the highest of the treetops here at the climbing course? It's interesting because if you're willing to just accept that you can't fall, it makes it a little bit better, but they make it so uneven and so unsteady that you forget that. Your brain sees the ground way down there and the adrenaline is pumping. <laughs> That was insane! <laughs> they are really high up there now. Good job, Caleb. Really cool. So the trick is you gotta go to the corners. Kendra lost her sunglasses and got stuck, but we were able to rescue her. This one has a horse. How fun is that? You have to ride it. Well, the red one is definitely harder. So apparently I have to gallop. To get across. 
<laughs> All right, I'm up here. Janae just went ahead of me, but I'm like legitimately nervous about this one because there's nothing to hold on to and the wire is over here. Oh, this one has broken. They're just trying to freak us out here. Good job. Like, look at this. You're being brave. It's a big step for her. Nothing to hold on to. Cut the ropes. Oh, good grab. Please make good luck. Good luck. <laughs> so what was it like being up that high? It was awesome. I you guys were so high up there. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep. <laughs> okay. Good job. <laughs> I think that's the closest thing to flying I'll ever get to. So for some reason the kids want to do the hardest course here. We'll only be here once. Crazy. So it required, this is the black course. So Isaac is realizing that to cross this one he has to jump, catch the rope, and then make it to the next rope. You're Tarzaning it, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Okay. For how short he is, this is impressive. Good job, Cub. All right, so Caleb is trying to jump to that rope. Oh, good try, buddy. Have to try it again. He's going again. All right, he is trying. Yep. Oh! She did it! Amazing! I've been so bad. <laughs> he wants a second try. Go! <laughs> Push! <laughs> All right, Elise, you got this. Yeah! Swing! Then you just grab onto that next rope. You're almost there. Yeah! All right, we've got two girls over there. Elise! Girl power! Girl power! You wanna go try it again? I gave birth instead. Isaac's going for attempt number three. I think this is the time, Isaac. There it is! Pull yourself up, good job! Good job, Cub! There we go. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Nice. Good job, Cub. You got a pedal, Isaac. Isn't that cool? Reach to the net, Spider Man. There you go. I went on that. Laura, that one looks fun. Here comes Janae. Oh, yeah. Oh, the upside down climb. Impressive. Yes. All right, so they're trying to do the brown one now. This one is about as hard as the black one. Good job, Cub. Oh, you got this. Oh, oh, oh. Good job. And now. Yes. Nice. Can't got quite it. One make more, it. One more. No, no, you can't reach it. You got one it. More. Oh. Just pull your other foot yeah, you get exhausted. Oh. Caleb's trying to get creative on how to get around this obstacle. Close. Yes. Oh, 
Bye. Nice. This has been such a fun day. It's fun to see the kids pushing past their comfort zones and feeling confident as they achieve stuff. It's been really awesome. It's stretching all of us, but it's especially been cool to do with our new friends because there's something about doing something like this with friends. You know, there's such, such a positive energy, like a positive peer pressure. Everybody's cheering you on and everybody's been able to buddy off in different groups. So it's been fun. It's nice to be able to make friends in different places. Oh, this is cool. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> nice. So we keep trying to leave, but then everyone wants to do another course. You did it! You exhausted? Pretty, yeah. What do you think of the climbing course? Epic. Well, we finally got some water, and the kids are all playing at the park while we wait for pizza. So our place is just right through those trees, which is perfect. All right, we did a vote with the kids of whether they wanted to go to the lake or go get ice cream. And what was the vote? The lake. We're going to the lake. The lake won. Everyone's super excited about it. We have no dissenters. two kids upset, actually. So the kids voted to head to the lake. We hurried to the house. Everybody's in and out, filling up water bottles, loading into the car. I feel so bad. I just shut this door and I heard it click. And I thought Jeremy had the key because he's in the car ahead of me and I was the last one out. But he doesn't have the key and I can see it and it's right inside. And now we're locked out of our Airbnb. And we just checked like all the windows to make sure everything was locked before we left. So um, Jeremy's going around the house to see if possibly there's some window open. All right, we just found a ladder, which is helpful. Jeremy remembers opening the second story bathroom window and I don't remember shutting or locking it. And so even though it looks closed, we're hoping it's open. He's gonna climb up and check. So we're locked out, but Jeremy just found a window. Are you gonna climb through there? <laughs> Every other window was shut. And this one looked possibly shut, but you did it! You have to get down. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great bum shot. <laughs> Thanks for stabilizing, and good thing there was a ladder. Got the key. So glad. So glad. These are my kind of friends. It is definitely dusk. And it's we should nine. probably be going it's to bed. But they were up for going to the lake with us. This is awesome. And now that we're not locked out of our house, it's a great way to end off the evening. Yeah, so it's much later than yesterday. And no, I didn't change from yesterday or shower. That was a bad idea. But we ran out of time. We were running late today, so. Our friends have the cutest little girl named Elodie. Are you coming? She's here. She's going. more colorful when the sun was out and but it's warmer so clear. they chose the lake over ice cream any day let's go for it She 
I'm getting the carry LED back to the car in the dark. It's the best. We may have overdone it recently. Are you too tired? Yeah. It's been such a long day. Every day lately has been such a busy day. Did you have fun today? No. Did you like playing with Everett? Yeah. You are a climbing machine. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. Did you like the climbing place? Yeah. What was your favorite, the climbing place or the lake? Climbing. What was the best one to climb? The, the dark green. So any tips on how to be brave if you're feeling nervous about those kinds of things? Just force yourself and then you can do it. And there's always a harness to help you at every, at every climbing, climbing place, there's always a harness. So if you fall, it'll just catch you. So remembering the harness is there. Yeah. Can I carry you up to your bed? Yeah. At the climbing place that we went to, the beginning was always the hardest. Like say on the dark green one, you had to climb up a rock wall that was like a square that went straight up and it was just really hard for me. I think a tip on climbing is to be brave and try new stuff because there were times where I thought I was stuck and then I had to like think out of the box and try new ways to like fix my position and also I to, eat something. to I recommend like knowing when you have gone to your limit, mm -hmm. even though it might feel a little bit embarrassing that you can't do a lot. Like if you're exhausted? Yeah. I got exhausted after the black one, and I almost couldn't do the second one that I did after the black one, but... But you pushed through, and you finished it. It I was did. a hard one. Yeah. Also, something really scary happened on the black line. I was doing one of the hardest parts and it was unstable and one of my hooks fell off and I was, my heart was beating so fast and everyone like looked and everyone was concerned and I was so scared and I said like a little prayer in my head to help me be confident and then after that I just took a deep breath and I finished it and I made sure on the next one that I was hooked but it scared me. Big time. Really? You guys should be proud of yourselves. Who is the old one? asked Heidi. Why the mother, of course, was the reply. We're reading the book Heidi out loud as a family, and in the last chapter, she had to sleep in straw in the hayloft and make a little bed. It was really fun to read about it. Yeah, it takes place in the Alps. It sure does. Schneebly rubbed her head contentedly against the Good night. Do yourself. This is the best hike I've ever been on. Thing you brought your babies. Yeah.